Interior design, it is challenging for most of us. That's why hiring an expert on the subject is a very good idea. This is Tanya Shively. She's the owner and principal designer at Sashu Design Associates. And you say it's all in the details. In fact, that's the name of one of your books. How long have you been doing this? Absolutely. I've been a designer for about 20 years now. And what is your philosophy? When you walk into a home, you, you say it to, you take pride in understanding what that person wants and how do you get that concept into reality? Usually they'll bring me some pictures or a, a favorite rug or a favorite piece of art or something that really starts the whole process. Mm -hmm. And I do an in-depth conversation interview with them and then the process is very collaborative. So they're involved every step of the way and we make sure that they're getting what they want. And you want it to be easy, right? Absolutely, that's what I'm <laughs> that's here for. That's your goal, that's your goal. And what, when you go through the process from start to finish, when, they, when they're done, are they like, wow, that was a lot easier than I thought because I let you do it? Yes, right? <laughs> absolutely. So tell us about being so eco-friendly. Why is that important to you in design? Well, I grew up in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So the beauty of nature surrounded me and that was amazing. But also I had a father who had severe chronic asthma. <sighs> and that's a real problem these days with people having so many respiratory issues, allergies, asthma, those kinds of things. And so we can actually affect people's health through the materials that we choose to put into their home. And you brought some examples um, and some samples for us when it comes to this is going to be for the wall, right? Correct. Okay, so tell me what you brought here and, and how are people using this in their homes? So these are examples of plaster, Venetian plaster and clay plaster. And what these do for you is they're a more durable finish than paint. They last longer. Mm -hmm. They're antimicrobial and they regulate the humidity. They're also low VOC, so they're not emitting toxic chemicals into your home like paint can. Yeah, look at that. I love the, the texture on there. It looks it looks different, you know, than just putting a coat of paint on the wall. Exactly. All right, so once we go to the wall, you say the flooring is the next thing we need to consider. And we can also be eco-friendly when it comes to the designs we pick on the floor. Absolutely. So when we're worried about health, the number one thing is to use primarily hard surface floors, like a porcelain tile mm -hmm. or a hardwood that's sustainable or reclaimed. And then when you want to soften it up, I'll bring in rugs, like these gorgeous rugs from Mazzotti. They're beautiful. They have such an amazing selection and their mm -hmm. customer service is really above and beyond. But the natural fibers, the wool and the silk and mm -hmm. the combination of those, it's a durable fiber, it's easier to clean, you don't have to use chemicals to clean it, and it doesn't, again, off-gas like the synthetic rugs and carpets will. And when you said this was porcelain. Porcelain. So that's beautiful. And you can put this in like the wet areas of your home, for Exactly, example, right? bathrooms, okay. kitchens, kitchens, possibly. And then change, changing totally a different gear mm -hmm. here and going into the hardwood yeah. on some of your more living spaces. Absolutely. And how, how essential is that rug that you select to go along with your flooring? Well, the rug really provides the pop. And sometimes what I'll do is actually start with the rug mm. because rugs are more limited. Fabrics are practically unlimited. Wall colors completely unlimited. Okay, so we got to talk about one of your most exciting projects. I was looking at these pictures and my mouth was open. Oh my goodness, <laughs> tell me about, tell us about this uh, project that we have on the screen right now. This was so fun. This was a project in Colorado where the owner and builder was running into some problems with his local designer. It just wasn't working out. So he called and asked if we could come and rescue the project wow. and get it back on track. So he flew us up several times over the course of two years. We fast tracked all of the selections, did all of the furnishings and really made it come together. I, I would say you rescued it in a very big way. <laughs> it's beautiful. You have two books on interior designs. The first one, How to Avoid Interior Design Nightmares. What will that teach us? That is really a guide to putting together your entire team, your architect, your builder, and your interior designer so that you can create the dream home that you have in your mind easier with less hassles. All right, in the second book, as we talked about in the opening of this segment, it's all in the details. What's that book about? It truly is. So that is actually an inspiration coffee table type book. There's all kinds of gorgeous color photographs. Um, there's tips and inspiration, and it really just kind of gets you started, and it gives you a place that you can bring that in even yeah. and say, this is what I like. So what are some of the fun trends that you're seeing right now that are new out there that we may not know about that we maybe need to consider? You you know, actually, healthy and sustainable design is a trend right now. Okay. People are really concerned about their well-being. Um, so if they can get a home that is a healthier environment and that supports their lifestyle and their well-being, 
that's where they want to go. All right, let's give you a special offer. Great information, Tanya. Thank you so much. Here's a special offer. The first 27 people to call right now, you will get Tanya's book free, including shipping and Cessu Design. They are okay, located in Scottsdale. The phone number is there on your screen, 480-275-2968. You can also visit their website, sessudesign.com.